So this video is about uh, materialized views and um, some other interesting p features of materialized views, namely making it fast, refreshable, and also enabling query rewrite. I have a, a particular query that I have in the, from the SH schema. Let's just take a quick look at it. And I want to make this particular query a, a materialized view. I want to make sure that it query rewrite is enabled and that it is fast refreshable. So uh, um, to do that uh, we have to do certain things uh, and there are some init.org parameters that also come into play. So th let's start with those. Alright, there's two query rewrite um, init.org parameters. These are set to the default. So query rewrite enabled is set to true by default which means that if a query, if an ad hoc query is run that can be better served by running against a materialized view, it will do so. However, the query rewrite integrity is set to enforced. So that means that um, the Oracle will ensure that the results of the query against the material, uh, materialized view will have to be exactly the same as, as it is against the base tables. So if you're running a synchronous type query or a synchronous type materialized views, occasionally they are stale because new data has come in and the materialized view hasn't been refreshed yet. And in that case, that even though you have the query rewrite and it is set to true, query rewrite won't happen because um, the results of the query against the materialized view would be different. So uh, um, if you can afford to have uh, um, <clears throat> some amount of staleness uh, during that period, you can set this to stale underscore tolerated, and uh, um, in which case then query rewrite would actually work. So, okay, so I showed you the query that I was interested in running or creating a materialized view. So let's start by um, examining that materialized view. Let's run an, an explain M view against it and to see if the query rewrite is possible and as fast refreshable as possible. So let's look um, at uh, what you have to do. Let's see, here's the, the call to DBMS M view. Um, explain M view. So I put in the query here and, is, and it tells me whether fast refreshable or and query rewrite is, is uh, possible but it writes to a table called MV capabilities table so we actually have to pre-create that ahead of time. So uh, Okay, so now let's call this um, explain M view. And now let's look at the MV capabilities table. So Okay, so we can see that while rewrite, it, uh, query rewrite is possible, we can see the as is the query that is written, uh, um, the re fast refreshable is not possible. So um, it turns out though that if we create the right set of materialized view logs and, and include some additional columns in the query, we can make this fast refreshable. And how do we do that? Well, we use a different package procedure altogether. Most of the package procedures re revolving around materialized view are in DBMS MView, with one exception, and this one's in the DBMS advisor, and it's called the Tune MView. And the output of the Tune MView will show you how to make it a fast refreshable, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing to, to call DBMS, well, first of all, let's just look at it. the call to tune M view. So um, it actually takes a bind variable, which is an in-out variable here. So we actually have to reference the bind variable and then um, the query. Notice in this case, now I say refresh 
fast on demand and enable query rewrite. That's the important part. And so it's going to give us some output of how to make this happen. So, uh, um, but before we can do that, um, if I run it as is, it's, it will fail because SH doesn't have the advisor role, so we must give it that. So let's go back to... Okay, that's finished. So then let's go ahead and look at the output of that. And that output is in user tune M view. And there's certain ways to the best ways to format that. So let's say something. So, uh, um, <clears throat> so it gives us data on how to create the materialized view so that it is fast refreshable. It gives us this particular um, uh, syntax, and which includes uh, an additional column, uh, uh, count, and that helps us get it fast refreshable. Um, also, notice that the column names that it assigns is typically different than what you put in your query. So I'm going to actually not call this M1 and M2. I'm going to call it what I wanted to call it in the first place. Um, but there's also some logs, materialized view logs that were created, one for customers and one for sales. And so we need to do that. And so what I typically do here is take all this out, either spool the output or copy it or what have you, and then I put it into a script and I create it. And I've already done that. So let's take a look at what I did. So I took this and put it into a um, SQL script right here. Here's where I create the materialized view logs. Here's where I uh, um, create the materialized view. I, I did it as was uh, that came from the output from the tune M view with, with two exceptions. One is, uh, and these were, I called these column names differently than M1 and M2. I called it what I wanted to call it. So now, Let's uh, go here, and let's go ahead and create the materialized views. Okay, so that is done, and uh, um, the next thing we want to do is uh, um, let's look, let's do an ex the same explain M view now that we've created it this way. So uh, um, I have that. Oops. So now I want to say explain M view, and I'm actually instead of the query that I had earlier, I want to give it the materialized view that I've just created. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, and then let's run the same query against MV capabilities table that we ran earlier. I think I have the format still set properly, so let's just let, let it be. Um, you know what, let me go ahead and just do this anyway. One other thing we need to do is, since MV Capabilities Table, before I forget, MV, MV Capabilities Table is already populated, so let's go ahead and show it. Okay. 
Now let's run the select cape of Yogi name possible MSG in MXT. Cape of build. Oh, okay. It's truncated now. <laughs> let's run this again. And uh, we should be in good shape. Now let's run. So I should have truncated it before I didn't explain. But we are in good shape now. Now, okay, so now we see that ex rewrite is uh, was is and still is. Um, uh, this query is rewritable, and now we can see, oh, wow, we can have fast refreshable now. And that's by virtue of uh, several things. One is the materialized view logs that we just created, those two that we created. Plus, we added an additional column that the uh, tune, the DBMS advisor M tune or tune the M view had recommended. So, uh, um, okay. So now let's uh, let's run a query. Now I'm not going to run it against the materialized view itself. I'm going to run an ad hoc query, and I want to see if query rewrite actually took place. So um, let's look at. Um, so this is the query that I've started with, but I want to say explain plan for. So let's go ahead and run that. Now let's go. Um, And uh, um, we can see that the materialized view has has uh, been used, and it's going against that. So it looks like the materialized the query rewrite uh, worked after all. So so the last thing we need to do is um, we made it fast refreshable, but we didn't give it a refresh schedule. So uh, um, let's go ahead and do that. The easiest way to do that is to um, <clears throat> By default, you can make a refresh schedule in, in uh, DBMS jobs as opposed to DBMS scheduler. That's the best way in this uh, for the OCM exam. At this point in the OCM exam, you should be using the DBMS jobs as opposed to DBMS scheduler. Later, you're going to have to create some schedules and what have you, but this is the best place. And it's easy to do. So let's just say I want to create a, ref a refresh schedule based on every five minutes. So I would say alter materialize view. And here it is. Refresh fast on demand. And we'll say next sys date plus interval five. So I did something wrong. Alter. Alter. Materialized. View. Cust ID sale. Refresh fast on demand. Ah. Next. This state plus interval five minutes. Okay, it helps if I can spell. Okay, ter terrific. Now, now, now that we've created this uh, um, 
this uh, refresh schedule, let's go ahead and query things, uh, make some queries against our materialized view. So the first thing I want to do is look at user jobs. So, uh, um, so let's look at that. Okay, so uh, um, so we can see that we have a um, schedule set up. Let's look at uh, what is called the user MV refresh times. So, so let's look at that now. So uh, um, we can see, huh, this is interesting. So we see the uh, um, materialized view, and we can see what it's based on. So in this case, it's based on um, sales and customers. And uh, um, here's a, a query I particularly like. Uh, so we go on to So the last um, materialized view um, refresh that was done was the complete, and this was when we actually created the uh, um, the materialized view. But if we wait long enough, say another five minutes or so, or a little less than five minutes, we'll see this will say um, a fast refresh. And uh, um, finally, there's another query that's kind of interesting to look at, and it's the user registered M views. It will actually give you the syntax of the the uh, um, materialized view itself so that's kind of interesting let's look at that Great. And, and here is the um, actual syntax uh, of the uh, materialized view that we just created. And that's it for this particular video.